Hey, what's up guys? This is my bass cave. I'm gonna take you on a little tour. Uh, first, I'm gonna tell you about it. It's a 20 foot by 40 foot shop uh, that we built uh, actually this year. We started it pre-COVID. So uh, there was, that was a little hectic there for a while, but we got it finished and uh, also picked up my new truck. But I have it heated, cooled, spray foamed, all the good stuff. And uh, yeah, got the new truck from Net Direct Autos in Fort Worth, Texas, and I'm fired up about it. Can't wait to get started. So I was gonna show you guys the chickens, but I don't think that they're, oh, there's one. We've got a chicken over here. See if you can see what's up. There he is, coming to say hi. We got five chickens during the COVID three month uh, off season. So see ya. The eggs are bomb. My wife really wanted them. And then she found out she's allergic to eggs. So come on in. All right guys, so this is the bass cave. I don't call it that, you guys call it that, but I don't really have a name for it. Uh, it's That's kind of fitting though. So. We have, of course, my Phoenix bass boat in here. Uh, again, it's a 20 foot wide by 40 foot shop. Uh, I've got a 921 Pro XP Phoenix. This is a boat I run every year. Everybody asks why I don't run an Elite or PHX or anything else, and I just love this boat. I ran a PHX one year, loved it, great ride, uh, but I actually didn't have a great year that year. It was one of my worst seasons, so I blamed it a little bit uh, just on superstition that I needed to be back in this boat. So. Anyway, 921 Pro XP, uh, slat wall up and down, top to bottom. Uh, so we didn't do any sheetrock in here. Uh, we just had, of course, a structure built, uh, then electrical, and then spray foamed everything, and then did the slat wall after that. So really kind of saved a process, saved some money. Uh, so anybody that's looking to build a shop or add on, you know, do something in your garage, you don't have to put sheetrock up first, you know, to put this slat wall up. So. Uh, yeah, boat's a little bit of a mess right now. We have been fishing on Lake Gunnersville and another place, been catching some spotted bass lately. It's been good, it's been a nice winter, uh, but it's a little bit dirty. And my buddy down in Florida who's gonna buy it, probably doesn't wanna see it this dirty, so should have cleaned it up a little bit. I did find out this morning, walked out here, this is always nice. The old dreaded flat tire. So got a little tire shop in town, I'm gonna have to take it to in a little bit. Got batteries for my new boat. This is my old boat. Uh, so my batteries for my new boat, these are Battleborn batteries, lithium for the trolling motor. And I ran them this year, they were fantastic. Uh, some old Bass Mafia boxes, we're gonna donate to some high school kids. And yeah, this wall right here is just kind of a mix of everything. There's all kinds of different stuff on here. Um, stuff I use, stuff I've just collected over the years, things like this, right? Like, uh, like we'll show this one. I don't think this thing, is ever really gonna catch me a bass, but it was given to me as a gift uh, from some Japanese guys at iCast, and I just can't get rid of that. So again, a lot of stuff I use on this wall, a lot that I don't. This one right here is probably worth some money. A Roman negotiator, Roman made negotiator in a really good color. Yeah, that thing's worth a little bit of coin right now. All right. Come on down this way, of course, if you're gonna be in a bass cave, man cave, a guy's shop or garage, you have to have at least a 50 inch TV. So we have a 50 inch TV. And actually best time this fall was being out here rigging on tackle and watching the masters. That was really, really cool out here. So uh, definitely glad I put that up. Of course, all my Bass Mafia uh, briefcase bags. These are the newest ones just starting to come out. And this is where I put most of my soft plastics. Uh, the, the beautiful thing about this system is that I can set all these bags on the back deck, hop in my boat, put them all in the right side rod locker, lay them in there. And I know when I go to an event, you know, I can stack 12 bags in that right side rod locker of any soft plastics I think I might need. And then once practice is over, generally I'm gonna take some out, but at least during practice, I know I've got everything that I need in that right side rod locker when it comes to soft plastics for that body of water. So uh, just to show you how much we can actually fit in these things, this is a, a five and six inch Max Scent General bag and there's probably like 50 bags in there. So this new bag, we also uh, put a much better zipper on and uh, that is definitely gonna make a, a difference with this one. The, our old zipper wasn't the best ever. Bag was great, very durable, but the zipper uh, it wasn't the best. So now we got a great zipper. I'm excited about that. 
And moving on down, uh, we have just terminal tackles. So uh, treble hooks, um, all Berkeley Fusion stuff. This is how they sent them to me in bulk a long time ago when we first started looking at uh, the Berkeley Fusion treble hooks. And they are very, very sharp. If you've thrown a Berkeley Fritz side, any type of Berkeley topwater, any type of, any Berkeley hard bait that's a bass fishing bait, uh, you've seen or felt those treble hooks and they are super sharp. So we've got shaky heads, keep all my reels uh, in these old Bass Pro Shops bags. They're padded in there. So it's kind of a, they're, they're nice little bags. I'm still trying to come up with something with Bass Mafia on this, but you can see it's got like a divider section for reels. So that's a, it's a really cool way to store reels. I'll give them that. Everything else I have is Bass Mafia though. Uh, let's see, let's go over here. Well, can't go over here without talking about trophies. So. Uh, these are all my, well, these are all my professional trophies, right? Since I've uh, won as a professional first time, of course, Sacramento, 2015. This summer, these are my two babies from the summer. I started out sucking in 2020. You guys heard me say it on camera. I missed three checks in a row. It was kind of just, you know, just but just bad. I was I just wasn't fishing well. Came back from COVID, uh, our three month break. Finished fourth, of course, at heavy hitters and then was able to win uh, twice this summer, which was really, really cool. So uh, both on the Great Lakes, Sturgeon Bay and Lake Erie, really awesome. And then over here, uh, just old, older trophies. So this stuff is um, from, as a pro, my early FLW days, and then as a co-angler from my really early FLW days, like 2007, 2008, and uh, 2009. So a lot of history over on this side. Uh, if we open up, some of these, uh, these are just gladiator storage shelving units, I guess is what you call them. I don't know, I got them at Lowe's. Um, and they, had a, they, they were on sale when I bought them last year when I was getting ready to build this. So we built this, now that I'm saying that, we built it, like started it right before COVID. Of course, COVID hits, we're all freaking out, thinking, you know, great, oh, this is great. I just started a shop right when, and I actually ended up doing it at the perfect time because the lumber went through the roof, everything else started, costing a lot more and we are able to finish this shop uh, like the end of March, beginning of April. So, uh, but this is where I keep just a lot of, uh, you know, I don't know, knickknack stuff, extra reels, extra line, uh, paint, if I want to paint some bait, you know, some lead baits or lead heads, extra boxes, extra rain boots, just extra of everything in here. Some of my GoPro gear, uh, moving over here, show you guys my, my storage system. I think my storage, like the way, the way that I do it, I think is best. My, guy, my friends will give me a hard time about that, whatever. I, I just believe that this is the best way. I don't think there's a better way. So I color coordinate everything. I use a label maker, so it's really clean. Buddy in Dallas got me on that. But all my hard baits, if they're subsurface, right? So crankbaits, jerkbaits, lipless baits, anything like that, uh, those are gonna be green boxes or green labels, and then anything that is, um, you know, terminal tackle related, lead head related, anything like that uh, is gonna be down here with the white labels. So swim jigs, football heads, jig skirts, hooks, belly weighted hooks, spoons, all that kind of stuff. So I know like when I open the door, if I'm looking for something specifically, I know exactly what color to be looking for. And I know it's gonna be in that section. Over here, uh, a lot of my swim bait type stuff, I keep all yellow. The few soft plastics that I keep uh, in Bass Mafia boxes are blue. And then of course my top waters, uh, these are all orange. So I'll show you since this one's on the top, one of my like most coveted baits ever. And this is the uh, Berkeley Cane Walker. You can see, I don't know, what's the best way to hold this up where you guys can see the teeth marks on that thing, but it's absolutely shredded and that was from one week when I won angler of the year one week of fishing right there so really cool uh that bait's awesome of course our drift walker is really really awesome too but that's a special box right there a lot of good memories in that box uh moving over this way every guy's got to have a little bit somewhat of a tool set I am uh definitely not mechanically inclined but I've got a a tool set and I can, if I need to fix some small things, I probably can. 
uh, but anything major, I'm out. I'm taking it somewhere else. I just, I don't have it. My dad does, I don't. Uh, moving down this wall, we got Fritz sides, top waters, choppos, a bunch of Berkeley soft plastics. Uh, what else, what else? Old, even some old Havoc stuff, the old grass pigs, still using them. This is one of my favorite baits right here, and it's so simple. Such a simple bait, do nothing bait. And I can't tell you how many fish I've caught on it. Get as close in on that one. That's a Berkeley lugworm. And that thing, I've caught some big old small mouth on it, on a Carolina rig, and caught a lot of large mouth on that thing on a Ned head. So just a little top secret tip for you guys, Berkeley lugworm. Uh, this way, we've got all my extra rods, or you know, if I get in and I want some rods off the deck of the boat and they still have reels on them, I'm gonna set those right in this section. And then this section is all my, uh, all my rods that don't have reels on them. And I've got a lot of them up there right now because I'm kind of going through inventory since it's towards the end of the year. Um, all these are is retail clothes uh, slat wall hooks or whatever you want to call them. So people put a, you know, a, uh, what are those things called? A, what's it called? Help me out, Rob. A uh, clothes hanger, clothes hanger. You put a clothes hanger on and they just hang their clothes right there on those balls but it works perfect for rods too. So I found those like on eBay, ordered them off, you know, just kind of on a whim one time, like seeing it, we'll see if this works and it, it worked out great. So I'll say the last thing is the best thing, one of the best things I did in here, not only spray foam, of course the um, uh, AC unit and heating unit in the back too, uh, but the fans, I found these fans somewhere, I think they were in Atlanta, it was online, Global Industries, they're like $100 uh, industrial fans, pretty cheap. And I can bring this boat in here totally soaking wet and dry it out overnight. So that is really, really awesome. When I, If the boat's wet, turn the fans on, dry everything out. All the compartments, open them up, dry them out. That was the best thing, honestly, that I probably did in this place. So other than that, nothing crazy. Wanted this to be a functional, uh, simple, Easy to use, you know, shop, man cave, bass cave, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but this thing's got to be clean, right? I can't go fishing if this thing isn't clean. It's just in my mind, I'll fish better knowing that everything in here is organized and clean. And uh, we've had a little bit of time this off season to do that. So we've been in the boat more lately, but uh, I got some other things to do today. So I appreciate you guys stopping by. It's been fun and we will see you guys next time. Hopefully not for a long time. I don't want to move. I don't want to go anywhere. So hopefully it's a long time, but we will see you again.